This is a Corbanth Darkness lightsaber. It's a custom saber that's inspired by the design of the Dark Ray lightsaber in The Rise of Skywalker. So it has this collapsible hilt design, this kind of folding lightsaber hilt design. Right here, it's, it's in the folded position. And if I want it to extend into the kind of saber staff position, let's see if I can do this. Um, so there's this magnet that attaches the hilts together and if I can kind of flick my wrist then it folds out in a pretty similar manner to um, you know well the dark ray kind of force vision in the movie so that's really a neat feature it's it's neat that they developed that functionality of it and you know if you want to collapse the hilt again there's this little button that allows you to um, you know kind of put it back into that folded position so you want to watch your fingers throughout this, of course, but it's just a distinctive design, iconic design now. A lot of fans were talking about it uh, when that kind of, um, it wasn't a trailer, I guess, but that initial imagery of the, uh, you know, dark ray character um, unfolding this lightsaber. That was a pretty big deal before, you know, uh, showing that in advance of the Rise of Skywalker coming out. So uh, this hilt overall though, um, so each hilt is about 15 inches long. So it's quite, quite a long hilt. And certainly when it's extended as the saber staff, um, it's, it's uh, about 30 inches long. Let's see if I can get that all on camera. And it's uh, made from aluminum, so it's machined from aluminum, so it's mostly a metallic silver in color, but there are these kind of black accents throughout, black hinge, along with some of these red accents. So if we take a little bit of a closer look. Now each side is, you know, it's pretty much the same. It's sort of a, a uh, you know, two of the same hilts connected together with the hinge in the center. So here is the emitter. It's kind of this split top emitter. There's a window there, window on the other side as well. Some grooves, a black section. Here's sort of the activation box area, I guess. There are two switches here, and if you do an install on this hilt, you could use these switches. Got some red coloring and some grooves here, and then there's kind of this gear, gear shaped piece. And um, this gear shape piece so has some of these set screws inside. And if you um, you know need to access the inside of the hilt, then you can just kind of unscrew these, and um, the the pieces come apart. Then moving down, we get kind of toward. Uh, well, I should mention there are some small sound holes here too, if you can kind of see that. Now now toward the kind of middle of the hilt or the bottom of a single hilt, depending on how you look at it. There's some additional screws. And again, uh, if you loosen these, then you can slide kind of the two separate sections apart if you need to. There's the hinge mechanism. When it's extended, it's locked out, locked out pretty solidly. And then you unlock it by pressing that button down. So here, it's kind of what that looks like. And then now we're just, you know, on, on the other end of the hilt. So it's pretty much the same and it, it is the same. And uh, the magnet is here. So this kind of round um, flat cylindrical section on both sides, that's the magnet part. So when you snap it back in place, you see how it snaps at the end. Uh, because of the magnetic pull. So it's a, it's a pretty neat and definitely an unconventional uh, lightsaber hilt. So this is a Corbanth Darkness. It's a dark ray style custom saber.